Welcome to our Step Up Scale Down program. We are in week number four. Everyone give yourself an, uh, a good clap. Yay, ya estamos en semana número cuatro. My name is Joanne. I'm with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, Hidalgo County. Y tenemos, tenemos Ms. Lillian. Good morning, everybody. My name is Lillian and I'm from Cameron County. Ya estamos en la semana número cuatro. Bienvenidos. Thank you so much for coming. Um, will anyone want to share any successful stories before we begin with the class? No? All right. I'm going to pass it over to Ms. Um, Cavazo. She is our sponsor for this program. Um, Ms. Cavazo will be presenting and she'll be sharing a screen. Um, after her presentation, we will do the challenge raffle, which is a $10 gift card from HEB, so you can buy some healthy breakfast or lunch. Ms. Cavazos, I'm passing it over to you. Thank you so much. Uh, good morning. I'm going to attempt to um, share my screen. Hopefully you all can see it. Um, I'm not too familiar with Teams. Yes, um, there's a camera, then a microphone, and then a rectangle that has an arrow. If you yeah. click that. I clicked on that already. Okay. Um, are you able to see my screen? I have not received, um, seen it yet. So you're going to click on that arrow, and then you're going to browse your computer and upload your presentation. Okay, one it's, moment. You drop down, and it says browse my computer. You'll click that and then you search for your uh, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so I have the share my screen. There you go. And so are you able to see my screen? Yes, we can see it. Okay. Right. Pues uh, buenos días a todos. Este mi nombre es um, uh, Marilu Cavazos. Yo estoy con la compañía superior que estamos patrocinando este estas uh, clases <clears throat> y para mí es bien importante que todos miembros de superior sepan sus beneficios. It's very important for me as a, the community ambassador for superior for all superior members to know their benefits. Um, last week I talked to you about one of the benefits which is over the counter. These are free products that all our members receive every quarter of the year and it's every every member. So, uh, la semana pasada platicamos tocante uno de los beneficios que viene siendo el programa de, me de medicina de venta libre. Son productos que cada miembro de superior recibe cada cuarto del año. Y les quiero enseñar cómo este, ver esos productos. So, I am going to demonstrate to you how to find <coughs> these products for those that are superior members. So, van a ir a la página de superior, superior health plan, y esto es lo que van a ver. Ven el botón aquí donde dice miembro. Si, va, si bajan, son los diferentes programas que tiene superior. So, aquí está el Medicaid y chip. También pueden ir a este botón, Medicaid y chip, llegan al mismo lugar, ¿ok? So, pasan aquí, también pueden poner el, uh, el lenguaje, lo pueden cambiar a español. So, this is the option where you can change the language. So, I'll put it in Spanish for those that need Spanish. And aquí dice planes de Medicaid. Okay. Vamos a buscar los beneficios del plan. Este es el botón que vamos a necesitar. Lo voy a cambiar en inglés para que los demás también puedan ver. Also, you, it's after Medicaid and CHIP, you're going to come and look at plan benefits. And right here, you're going to see the pharmacy. Aquí está la farmacia. Al picarle la farmacia, abajito está el programa de medicina de venta libre. Y otra vez lo voy a cambiar en español para que puedan ver. Farmacia. Programa de Medicina de Venta Libre. Ok, ¿me siguen? Al ver esto, aquí te va a dar 
el teléfono donde vas a hablar y poner el pedido. This is the number that you can call to place your order for those that are superior members. And we do have 1.5 million people in the state of Texas, so I'm sure somebody does have superior. Superior tiene 1.5 millones de, de miembros aquí solamente en el estado de Texas. So estoy segura que, que alguien tiene este. Aquí está, aquí te va a explicar que el miembro que tiene el programa de Starry Chip son 25 dólares. Van a hablar a este teléfono. This is the number Please to call. Leave a message. Y aquí están los productos. Aquí comienzan. Ven message. como todo When trae. Todo trae numeración. Todo trae costo. Ok. So aquí está el champú para el bebé. Artículo número 150. Pero si se fijan, hay hasta pañales. Ok. Aquí hay de todo. Hasta anteojos tienen. Ok. The reading glasses. Aquí están las curitas, cosas para primeros auxilios. Luego siguen uh, el alcohol. Uh, aquí están para, para medir, para pesar la, las comidas. Uh, platos. Aquí comienzan las, las uh, the bracelets que son de alerta para decirles que son diabéticos o que están alérgicos al cacahuate. Tenemos baterías. También hay um, calcetines para los diabéticos. Hay muchas cosas. Aquí está el jabón para lavar. Es el 124, vale 8 dólares. Cada niño tiene 25. So, si usted tiene cuatro niños, va a poder meter cuatro órdenes de aquí a diciembre. Y luego en enero ya comer, comienza el primer cuarto del año para enero, febrero y marzo. Cualquier día en el cuarto puede volver a hablar al número. Aquí está el número y va a poder hablar. De nuevo, llegan a la página de superior. Se vienen aquí donde dice Medicaid y Chip. De Medicaid y Chip se van al plan beneficio. De pan beneficio se va a la farmacia. Abajito de la farmacia está el programa de medicina de venta libre. So this is how you can find the uh, products that you can order for. Also, I wanted to show you one other thing. Let me see if I can find it. This is the all of the uh, extra services. They're called value added services. Uh, estos son los servicios agregados de valor que tenemos y es por producto. So, la mayoría de la gente tiene, los niños tienen el programa de STAR. Aquí te dice todos los beneficios adicionales que tienen. Y aquí están los artículos de venta libre. OK. So this is how you find um, your items. Uh, you can also find all of the extra services that we provide. They're called value added services because we believe that they're valuable. And so we add them to what Medicaid pays and they are per product. So you look at the star and it's got all of the benefits here. OK, and here's the over the counter. Any questions? Alguna pregunta? Pues quiero que todo el miembro de superior, por favor, ordenen sus productos, porque si no ordenan, se los quitan este, este, este programa. OK, so we want all our members to take advantage and order their products. Um, if you all have any questions, please, please let me know. And I can also do uh, actual presentations at your schools. Uh, for those parent uh, educators that are on the line, I can also go to your facility, uh, do drive throughs and get, hand out goodies after the presentations. Thank you so much and you all have a great day. If you don't mind putting your contact information in the chat box and then um, also you um, can. Un, um, there you go. Wonderful.
Um, if you can just put your contact information if anyone needs it. So I Ms. Cavazos va a amputar su información. Um, last week, the semana pasada, we talked about reading labels. Um, remember the five and remember the 20%. Um, five is low, 20 is too high. Cinco is bajo, 20 is mucho. And I was noticing that a lot of people were putting some food up and were a little shocked that they were thinking it's healthy, such as um, a breakfast bar. Uh, personas estaban poniendo sus, sus comidas ahí y estaban pensando que era muy saludable. But the fact was it had a lot of sugar. Um, tenía mucho azúcar. Yo creo que era 29%. So I think there was 29%. Um, so um, I'm glad that you all were learning how to read those um, those nutrition labels. So me encanta que ya, ustedes ya pueden leer los etiquetas um, de nutrición. And that way you can find out some healthy choices if you're eating a healthy meal. So um, with that, anyone want to share anything else on that? And I could not, I can um, have the, the raffle. So let's shake it up. Thank you, Health, Superior Health Plan. And I'm going to not look and I'm going to grab. And we have Ms. Yolanda Garza. Congratulations, Ms. Yolanda Garza. Um, you have won a $10 gift card from HEB in behalf of Superior Health Plan. So thank you so much. And we'll send that over to you, I guess, when I see you on Tuesday. All right. Um, Ms. Lillian, ¿qué vamos a aprender hoy? What are we going to learn today? Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming back to our class. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Buenos días. Este, yo sé que a veces eh, no queremos, sometimes we don't want to, you know, remember or do, we don't want to do it, but thank you for your time and thank you for allowing us to, to share this information with you. Gracias por permitirnos estar con ustedes y compartir esta información. Uh, last time, you uh, Joan, my coworker, talked about labels. So I want to ask you, uh, did you learn anything? about reading labels, you know, you have any personal experience. Eh, la tarea fue que aprendieran a leer las etiquetas cuando iban a comprar. Alguien aprendió algo, encontró algo diferente. I did. Okay, can you share, please? I um, I have to tell you, I would only look at the calories. Uh -huh. I really didn't pay attention to anything else on the label because I didn't I didn't yeah. understand it. So uh -huh. I would just look at the calories. And then when I started looking at the amount of sodium and sugar that was in the products I was eating that I thought were healthy, I was very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you know what? I'm glad that you mentioned that. Eh, eh, están compartiendo que normalmente leemos un solo, este, una sola línea, por ejemplo, calorías, ¿verdad? That's what she was saying, that she used, used, uh, used to read only calories. Y a veces no, es lo que hacemos, nada más leer, leemos una sola cosa. But this is um, a good way for you to start changing that habit, to start reading all the content and the nutritional label. And that way you can see not just about calories, but how much fat, how much sugar, sodium, how much carbs. But also something that we forget is vitamins, minerals that we find in that particular item. Necesitamos cambiar nuestro hábito de leer las etiquetas, no solamente leer las calorías o la grasa, pero también leer el contenido que tiene de colesterol, de sodio, de carbohidratos. Y la otra parte que te, tenemos que leer mucho también y que no ponemos mucha atención es cuando tiene vitaminas, minerales, ¿verdad? Que, que encontramos en ese este, producto que hemos comprado. Y se van a dar cuenta que no solamente... Nos está diciendo cuánta grasa o azúcar estamos comiendo, pero también cuántas vitaminas y minerales este, estamos obteniendo de ese producto. So it's important for us to read a whole label so we learn about nutrients and vitamins. And that's something is very important for us also to remember. Uh, somebody has the... Um, So can you please mute your, your mics, please? Por favor, si pueden estar seguros que su micrófono está en silencio. Este, um, entonces, today I'm gonna share with you something. I know we talk a lot about my plate, but I think when you hear something all the time, you start getting familiar to that and you start uh, getting that information and it's gonna be part of you every day. 
Yo sé que estamos repitiendo mucho de mi plato, ¿verdad? Pero queremos que se quede en nuestra cabeza para que después ya sea algo normal, natural, que pensemos en eso cuando vamos a comer o comprar alimentos. So, last time I was with here, uh, I talked about my healthy plate. And I want to share something with you. Este, la vez pasada compartí con ustedes. No sé si se ve ya en el... Uh, yes, the, I can see it. Okay. So here is the, the website I told you that you need to go. I don't know if you already did it or not, but this is the way you can go. You can uh, log in and register. Este, este es el website donde usted va a encontrar mucha información que le va a ayudar este, todo el tiempo, en cualquier momento. Nomás necesita ir y registrarse in, para que pueda ver todos los beneficios. So if you scroll down, You have the, all the information about fruits, vegetables, grains, protein foods, and dairy. And then you can go to each section and it's going to give you more, infor more information about that particular se section. Si usted va y escoge este, estas secciones, cada una le va a dar información específica de lo que usted está eligiendo, frutas, vegetales, granos, proteínas y eh, lácteos. If we go down, we scroll down more. It's going to help you about shop, uh, shop smile with my plate, simple with my plate. And this is going to help you to find a good uh, prices wherever you are, and then you can buy and save money. Uh, esta es una aplicación de lo, donde le va a dar a ayudar a poder encontrar este precios más baratos, y ahorita todo está bien caro. Entonces, esto le va a ayudar a que pueda ahorrar un poco de dinero. If you scroll down, si vamos más abajo, tenemos aquí para herramientas, tools that you can get, uh, your plan my play tools you can uh, get your plan personal plan you know uh what to buy how much are gonna be spending what can you eat that's gonna help you with that and then also my play tool though these are applications that is gonna help you to really uh, manage better the way we eat este le va a ayudar a que usted pueda eh, manejar mejor su alimento verdad su plato saludable y que podamos pues, realmente eh, hacer cambios. This is the resources. Aquí están las eh, información que podemos encontrar también. And this uh, you can get more information about everything. My plate. And then we go back. And also you have recipes here. See, you can choose any recipe and sometimes we don't know what to cook or what to do. This is some, some way for you to help you. And then you have uh, recipe videos. Aquí tenemos recetas y que usted puede elegir y tenemos también videos. Y aquí usted puede elegir diferentes videos. Este, my plate kitchen, stuffed bell peppers. Aquí tenemos unos uh, chiles rellenos and you can go and choose whatever you want to do. And let me see. Let's try this one. It's just uh, one minute and you can see the video. And it's going to teach you how to prepare that recipe. Nothing smells more comforting than a hot, fresh out of the oven fruit crisp. Hi, I'm Chef Amy and today we're making apple crisp. We'll start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we can lightly grease a baking dish. Now we'll mix together flour, rolled oats, both white and brown sugars, a pinch of salt, and once that's combined, add a third cup of canola oil and mix again. I'm using white whole wheat flour, but you could also use regular whole wheat or all-purpose flour. So we'll go ahead and cut our apple into dice. Leaving the skin on allows you to get a lot more fiber, and it also adds color in a little. Okay, as you see, you can get recipes here. And that's something is gonna help you. And and uh, the other one that I wanna share with you is um, let me see if I can get that one. And the other one is the dinner tonight. It's in your uh, chat box, so you can click on that one, and you're gonna get also good recipes from that one. And it's gonna give you also videos with recipes. If you can see here, here is the our website dinner tonight, and we have a lot of recipes here. I'm going to put one recipe here that is going to be for breakfast. 
I know sometimes we don't know what to do for breakfast, and this is a very simple one. Let me put it here. Western. Ms. Lily, the question was asked in the chat box. Is the myplate.gov also available in Spanish? Un pregunta que estaba diciendo alguien. Yes. Um, sí, okay. Here we have the recipe. You can see the title, Southwest Egg Muffins, and it's very simple to make. And it's gonna have ground turkey, red bell pepper, garlic, green onion, salt, pepper, cumin, chili, uh, chili powder, uh, liquid egg, uh, and reduced fat Mexican bean cheese. And then you make this one. And what I like about this one is that you have in the nutritional information as well. And then you can make this and put it on the freeze and on your fridge for three to four days, or you can freeze uh, all these uh, muffins. And that way, if you're hurry, you're in a hurry, you don't have time to prepare any breakfast. You can eat this as as you go and put it in the microwave, and you know, and they're gonna be ready. So this is a very simple recipe that you can make. So if you go to dinner tonight, that tmu.edu you're going to get a lot of recipes as well. Este es otro website donde usted puede encontrar muchas recetas. Aquí está una que lleva huevo, carne molida de pavo, este y vegetales como la cebo el cebollín, el, el chile pi eh, pimiento rojo y lo va a mezclar y lo puede hacer y guardarlo en su refrigerador por de tres a cuatro días o lo puede poner a congelar y puede mantenerlos así por tres meses. Y los puede usar cuando anda la carrera, ¿verdad? Que no tiene tiempo de hacer su, su desayuno. Aquí tiene este, este desayuno que puede tener congelado o en el refrigerador y nada más ponerlo en el microondas y ya lo puede, pues, comer, ¿verdad? Y disfrutarlo. Entonces, estos son websites donde usted va a encontrar ayuda para que pueda cambiar los hábitos de la manera en que comemos. This is the website that you can use to get recipes. And, uh, and that way you don't, you know, struggle thinking about what I'm going to be cooking today. Sometimes we don't know what to do. So this is a, another way for you to help you. So try to use these websites um, for your own benefit, for your own good. Eh, les sugiero que use estos um, eh, websites para que pueda encontrar información. Así se va a ayudar a cambiar hábitos y podamos tener una mejor esta alimentación saludable. Además y el ejercicio verdad que necesitamos para que podamos tener un buen resultado. Si tienen alguna otra pregunta o comentario, verdad, pues con mucho gusto aquí estamos para ayudarles. So if you have any questions, just let us know and we are here to help you. So now we are gonna go with my coworker Joan. Disculpa. Yep. Yeah. Van a poner la página. Van a ponerla a donde nos podemos meter a esa página en el, la página de nosotros. Ya está en el chat, ahí le puse los enlaces, si lo puede, si puede regresar al chat, está el del dinner oh, okay, está y está el de my plate. Ok, está bien. Ok. Gracias. Si otra pregunta, nada más nos dice y le ayudamos. Ok, gracias. Por correo, también el link. Oh, sí, estaría perfecto, sí. We, ok, we can share that on, on, the, on the email as well. Yeah, okay, I think thank it's you. Better. Thank you so much, Ms. Um, Lillian. Gracias. Um, so what we also want to say is also plan. If we don't have a plan, si no tenemos un plan on what we're going to eat, we're more than likely going to put um, unhealthy choices and we're going to consume fast food or, or something um, that is within our, um, something that's fast paced. So when we're planning our meals, we want to make sure that uh, we know what gonna, where we're going to be at. Maybe we work late, si trabajamos um, tarde, you know, maybe have something in the slow cooker. So this week's challenge is to um, give me your weekly schedule, your weekly meal. So este, um, vamos like a, a menu? Wait. Yeah, like a, a menu mm -hmm. for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And let's see if you can st um, stick with it. So what are you going to eat tomorrow, which is Thursday to the next Thursday? And um, and I'll uh, you can put it in a, in a notebook. Monday, I'm going to be eating um, cereals. Um, then with my snack will be an apple. Lunch, I'll have um, a chalupa. Dinner, I'll have a bit um, for another snack. I'll have um, nuts and then dinner. I'll have um, maybe chicken with rice. 
So um, and tell me if you um, how you feel with that. So um, each week we're, we're continuing to progress. We already know how to read the 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 tickets. We already learned how to um, the my plate on the nine inch plate breakfast four and a half inches and then our our calorie goal sets as well. So this time we're going to see if we can cook healthy recipes, but as well as plan them because sometimes when we don't plan, um, we don't make those good choices. Eh, y que pongan su desayuno, comida y cena, o si van a tener también snacks entre las comidas, también hay que ponerlo. Y este website, de, sobre todo de MyPlate, les va a ayudar para escoger pues, este, recetas saludables eh, y así no tengan que estar batallando qué voy a hacer. Entonces, eh, les invitamos a que busquen eso. MyPlate lo pueden en encontrar en español. El Dinner Tonight, no, no todas las recetas están en, este, en español eh, ni en website, pero si ven alguna receta que no entienden, ya sea que Joan o yo, les podemos ayudar a, a este, explicarles esa receta. Thank you. So today we're going to be doing stretches. Hoy vamos a estresar. Uh, and stretching is very important. Um, it helps us, one, relieve stress. No vamos a tener mucha tensión. También um, cuando tenemos estrés, um, tenemos, um, podemos uh, ganar peso. Um, it can also be bad for our health. Puede ser mal para no salud. Um, if we're sitting in working jobs, we'll have a lot of tension in our shoulder areas as well. Si ustedes están en el computador todas sus veces, usted va a mirar que tienes mucho estresados aquí um, en los neck. Um, so we're going to focus on stretching. We're also going to be um, talking about deep breathing. Como a respirar. So um, first, let's talk about deep breathing. So deep breathing, as we get older and, and our life goes very rapidly, we forget to breathe. Um, shockingly, we don't know how to breathe properly. You'll notice an infant, um, they're sleeping very peacefully. Their stomachs are um, exhaling, inhaling. So cuando están um, de niños, um, los niños pueden respirar muy bien. Um, están, um, su estómago de los niños es, es um, they breathe out and then they breathe in like that. And that's how we need to breathe in so we can fully get that oxygen in um, and we can fully relax. As well as taking time, um, we're always in a busy life. Nosotros siempre tenemos algo que hacer that our mind is constantly thinking and thinking and it's bringing us stress. So we need to take time for ourselves and um, de-stress and breathe in and breathe out. Um, so sometimes I invite you all to close your eyes and just focus on the deep breathing. So what we do is we um, sit up nice and straight. Vamos a sentarnos y hoy vamos a uh, practicar de um, respirar. Um, so let's do this one first. And once we learn how to breathe, then we'll start um, working on our stretches because the stretching and the breathing will be combined together. So ya cuando aprendemos como a respirar bien, ya podemos empezar los estresado, uh, stretches, estirarse, estirarse, that one. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to inhale for eight seconds and we're going to hold for four seconds and then exhale for the eight, section, eight, eight sections. So vamos a respirar adentro um, ocho segundos. Después vamos a, um, Lily, me ayuda how to hold your breath for four seconds. We're gonna hold it and then we're gonna exhale. Lily? Well, so we're gonna Sorry. breathe. Vamos a respirar y vamos a mantener el, el aire por cuatro minutos. Okay, and you're gonna see my stomach when we're inhaling. We're going to... minutos? No, no, minutos, segundos, perdón. Oh, segundos, perdón. <laughs> okay. So, um, vamos a respirar ocho segundos. Then we're going to hold for four. And then we're going to exhale. And we're going to make our belly nice and fat. Vamos a inhalar por, por ocho segundos. Vamos a, a, a respirar lo más que se pueda. Y lo vamos a sacar por cuatro segundos. Inhalamos en ocho y exhalamos en cuatro. Y el estómago se va a expander. Se va a hacer como una bolita. And at this moment, I want you to just relax. Um, think um, positive thoughts. Piensen um, buenos um, pensamientos. And um, this moment is just for you. So let's um, just practice the breathing. We'll do three sets of that. So here we go. 
Ready? Let's breathe in. And hold it. And you exhale. You want to throw all the air out. I have understood already how the breathing is very calm, very peaceful. Um, did anyone feel any um, one that was already relaxing? I, um, cuando estamos um, respirando, you should already felt a little more calmer, más calmado. Um, so um, keep on doing that. If you ever do get stressed, if you're ever overwhelmed, overwhelmed or have anxiety si tienes mucho ansies, uh, ansiedad or um, si tienes uh, mucho estrés or no, se, no sabes que hacer primero es importante a respirar and it'll calm you down on that so now let's start um, off with some sitting ex um, sitting stretches when we're doing these stretches keep in mind on those breathings um, breathe in and um, exhale with all that air like you're blowing um, out the air balloon or something like that. Um, so we're, what we're gonna do, I also emailed you different um, different handouts that you can use um, for the morning ex, um, stretches and the night stretches. Yo te mandé un um, papel que puedes hacer cuando despiertas y te men, también cuando vas a um, dormirte. Pueden estresar, um, you can start stretching out and um, it's just to make, um, decompress and maybe you'll have a um, one, you won't um, prevent injuries. Cuando vamos a empezar um, in the mañana, um, no vamos a dañar nosotros, right? We're in, when we start in the morning, we don't want to hurt ourselves. Our body's kind of like a little engine, so we want to warm it up for the day. Also, we want to feel less stressed. And then when we go to sleep, cuando vamos a dormir, nos, we want to also um, sleep peacefully. If we can sleep um, from six to eight hours, si nosotros podemos a dormir a seis a ocho horas. So um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to stretch our um, upper body um, and um, we're going to start off with our arms. So um, remember to breathe in. The first exercise, you're going to put your hands um, straight in front of you. Dígame. Permítame. Eh, ahorita lo que va a hacer mi compañera es que van a hacer un ejercicio del torso y vamos a relajarnos y seguir manteniendo la respiración de que inhalamos y exhalamos por la boca como si estuviéramos este, inflando un globo, ¿verdad? Entonces, y lo vamos a hacer despacio, ¿ok? Gracias. Um, so what we're going to do is put our hands straight up. We're going to interlock them. Vamos a get on los manitos así, And we're going to pull slightly, slowly. Um, and we're going to stretch it for 20 seconds and we're going to do it two times, ¿ok? So, um, let me put some relaxation. You can close your eyes. Put in this Breathe in and breathe out, very slow. Shake your hands out and we'll do another round. And you should look slowly feel the stress I'm relieving from your hands. Ready? Right. 
Vamos a sacudir las manos y van a poder empezar a sentir en los brazos, ¿verdad? Que sus músculos se están estirando y relajando. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slow. In. Good job. Now shake it out. Can you hear the music, John? Sí. Okay. Shake it out. Now the next one we're going to do is we're going to stretch our lungs um, and our abs. Vamos a uh, estirarnos um, estómico. Um, this is also going to be good for um, who we um, for digestion. Um, so it'll help us go to the restroom and, you know, so we're just going to put our hands way up. El siguiente ejercicio les va a ayudar para el estómago y con este ejercicio también a veces estimula la digestión. So we'll, we'll do this um, for 10 seconds and we'll do it two times. So stretch up. Put your hands down, shake it out. Are you hearing your knots? My neck is popping, so I'm doing it. You're relaxing. <laughs> Do it again. Stretch your tummy nice and tight and breathe in. Hay que estirar nuestro estómago. Stick it all out, your tummy. We're slowly going to move this way and breathe in. And you should get the stretch right here. Nos vamos a estirar hacia un lado y lo vamos a sentir que se está estirando nuestro lado. Middle. Now what we're going to do is um, stretch our shoulders. So we're going to put um, our head up, down, the side. Ahora va a ser para nuestros hombros y vamos a poner nuestra mano hacia atrás. And we're, we're stretching right here. Y vamos a estirar esta parte que mi compañero les enseñó. Empujan su brazo hacia atrás. Y recuerden estar respirando, inhalando y exhalando. Slowly, let's do the other arm. Just... So, this way. Ahora vamos a ir con el otro brazo. Si se acuerdan cuál. Shake your arms. The next um, one, if you're ever tense um, here, si tienes mucha um, tensión aquí, we're gonna um, we're going to um, stretch that. What we're gonna do is put our hands behind our back, así, and in our shoulder blades, we're gonna squeeze in. El siguiente ejercicio nos va a ayudar para los hombros cuando estamos muy tensas. 
Esto va a ayudar a que se relajen. Tighten it and bring it in, hold it, and then be stressed. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe and also just. Van a poner sus manos entrelazadas y luego van a jalar sus brazos hacia atrás. Lo mantienen un ratito y lo sueltan. Y no olviden estar respirando. All right, the next um, thing is we're going to stretch our legs and our hips. So we're going to pick up our legs if we can and just hold it and then stretch up. But make sure to breathe. Vamos ahora a tratar de relajar nuestras piernas. Este, y esto nos va a ayudar también a que nos sintamos mejor, ¿verdad? De nuestras piernas. Entonces no se les olvide que hay que estar respirando, inhalando y exhalando. Now rotate your ankles. Dar vuelta a rotar nuestros pies, nuestro este, tobillo. Movimiento circular, inhalando y exhalando. Slowly. Breathe in. Pick up the other leg. Ahora vamos a hacer la otra pierna. Rotate your ankle. Vamos a hacer círculos con nuestro pie. Mover el tobillo. Slowly drop it down. La bajamos con despacio. And breathe in. Respiramos hacia adentro y hacia afuera. Muy despacio. Slowly go down and let your arms wiggle. Y vamos a ir hacia adelante y vamos a soltar los brazos y a moverlos despacio. Pero su sueltos, no los tensen, sueltos. Imagínense que están en la playa, flotando. Nos vamos a levantar. We're now going to um, work on our legs, our um, hamstrings as well, our thighs, our ankles. And what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in for uh, about five rounds. So we're going to look like we're going to get off our chair a little bit right here and hold it like this. Ahora vamos a trabajar con las piernas y esta es la posición que vamos a poner. Your legs are close together, sus um, braquitas y también esto, like this. Las piernas van a estar juntas y los pies también. Con las piernas juntas, los pies juntos. Vamos a tener esta posición. Vamos a estar inhalando y exhalando. Okay, now we're just going to stand up with our um, feet close together as well. Los pesitos están ciertos. And we're going to pick up our arms like this. Don't tighten them, just relax them. Vamos a estar con los pies y las piernas juntas. Levantar los brazos 
pero no tensos, nada más relajados. Inhalando y exhalando. Bajamos los brazos. The next one, we're going to um, point this one and this one straight. La siguiente, vamos a poner un pie este, en la posición que tiene mi compañera, eh, transversal, y el otro pie en la posición, en la dirección este, opuesta. Y nos vamos a estirar de esta manera. Y recuerden es respirar, inhalar y exhalar. Ahora vamos a tener esta posición en, el, en la mitad, en el centro. Respirando, inhalando. Vamos a hacer el otro lado. Inhalamos. Exhalamos. Back to the middle. Lo ponemos en esta posición. Al centro. We're going to go back together. And we're slowly going to just touch our toes. Ahora vamos a poner las piernas juntas y vamos a tocar la punta de los pies. O baje hasta donde pueda. Y suelte su cuerpo, sus brazos. Vamos despacio. And we're going to um, do a circle in our, close our eyes and just slowly go around the neck. Vamos a cerrar los ojos y dar vuelta con la cabeza para que el cuello se mueva, pero muy despacio. Muy despacio. The other way, the other lado. Ahora para el otro lado, despacio, despacio. Slowly open your eyes. Abran sus ojos despacio, muy despacio. Sigan inhalando y exhalando. And now we're going to go like, I don't know. Y ahora vamos a hacer esta exclamación, yo no sé. Y levantamos los hombros y abrimos las manos. Inhalando y exhalando. ¿Cómo te sienten? Good job, everyone. How is everyone right now? Muy bien. 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 Muy b
weekend. So if you all can try to do this, try to do it in the morning and also in the evening too. So this one is said um, diferentes ejercicios para agarrar su estrés. Um, Sacarlo de estrés um, en la mañana también en la noche. And um, hopefully you all were also feeling those muscles stretching. A veces ustedes estaban uh, mirando que sus músculos estaban estresando. But thank you all for joining us for week number four. Gracias a todos para estar con nosotros en semana número cuatro. Um, nosotros vamos a mirarte en el noviembre. We're all going to see you in November next Wednesday, the 3rd of November. Thanksgiving's coming up. So also start, try working on those uh, weekly plans so we can make it into a habit and we can know what we're going to be eating for our Thanksgiving meals. Ms. Lillian? Um, oh. The walk across Texas. Yeah, but before you go to, to that one, this is a good way for you to prepare your body for the daily activity. You know, sometimes we are worried about money, about cooking, about children, about whatever. So this is a, something to help your body to relax and try, you know, it's gonna help you to deal better with, the, with that situation or those uh, worries that you have. Este, este ejercicio que les enseñó mi compañera es bueno que lo hagan en la mañana porque va a preparar su cuerpo a que esté relajado este, y así van a poder sentirse mejor y tener la energía para enfrentar cualquier problema o situación que tienen o preocupación, ¿verdad? Este, relajado uno puede hacer mejores cosas y pensar mejor. You are mute. <laughs> keep on logging those miles. Thank you, Ms. Lillian. Um, keep on logging those miles. Keep on walking um, and keep on um, tr keep on with your goal. So thank you all for doing that. So here it is. Let's see. No se les olvide poner sus millas, ¿verdad? Sigan caminando, haciendo ejercicio. Acuérdense que el beneficio es para ustedes. Y ahorita vamos a ver quién se sacó el premio. We have the first, um, Jerry Knowles. Congratulations. Yay! Jerry. All Yay. right. Thank you so much. Um, so we'll be mailing you that $5 um, gift card for your snacks. So thank you all. We'll see you next Wednesday. Adios. Gracias por todo. Nos vemos la próxima semana. Relajadas, relajadas. Suavecito. Gracias. Bye. 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 Gracias.